And we are back with some more One Piece, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bustler. I should be today with episode three and four of One Piece. This episode is called Morgan versus Luffy, who's the mysterious pretty girl. Again, One Piece's titles, I, I've, I've been told, are usually quite long. The first two episodes we were introduced to Luffy, our protagonist, of course. He can stretch, he can get shot by bullets. It doesn't make much sense, but apparently it comes from something called like the gum gum fruit. I think that's what he said. I don't know. I'm already forgetting things. It's, it's we're already three episodes in. The title is referring to this mysterious pretty girl. I'm guessing is the girl that's lurking around who I believe becomes part of his crew. And the episode ended with Luffy about to save Zoro. Like he wants Zoro to join his crew and basically said he would save him. And Captain Morgan being very upset because Luffy destroyed his prized statue. Also very shocked that he was able to absorb these bullets or the bullets just kind of bounced off of him. So at this point, Luffy seems quite strong in terms of like the defense department. But at the same time, he stretched in like one shot that woman pirate captain so who knows we're gonna hop right into it if you're new to the channel drop a sub hit that big bell so any future episodes get started on the journey early let's get started with this bad boy well your guns don't work i just don't like the way it goes through his like his skin stretches that far with the bullets in it <laughs> just don't like that Oh, he has Sora's swords. He told him if he got him. <laughs> the, eh. <laughs> it's such a straightforward title. Are you crazy? Clearly not. <laughs> Kobe's his number one fan. Now join the crew. Oh, it's a style. <laughs> There's not much of a choice, Luffy. I like how they're not shooting at him because they don't know what to do. <laughs> they haven't been trained for this. That straw hat. It was a devil fruit. He said like gum gum or something. Gum gum is like his power. Okay, yeah, it's a devil fruit. Oh, lore. Nice. Are there multiple? Oh, okay. And clearly the power to stretch. Mysterious. <laughs> like how he's just calling him Straw Hat. Guys, just use one of the swords. I mean, how much would a sword do too? I wonder if it would still bend. Kobe, this is your time to shine. Oh, oh. He's out, baby. Look at Kobe's face, bro. <laughs> they both have quite uh, high expectations for themselves. He needs the best of the best. Why don't you do something, Morgan? You're huge. Like dog. Okay, why didn't Luffy do that like a, a while ago when they were running up? A gum gum fruit is one of the devil fruits. I got them mixed up, but they're the same inherently. Oh my God! Yo, Morgan, chill! This man, oh, they're gonna re revolt. That looks like the face of rebellion. <laughs> Bro, Kobe, don't you wanna join the Navy? I guess not anymore. Oh, here we go. Axe hand, that's quite straightforward, Morgan. Luffy's very straightforward. Doesn't even stand a chance. He's not even breaking a sweat. Oh, this one's for Kobe. Oh, here we go. <gasps> you monster. He's a child. Yo, Luffy gonna kill you, bro. I will die for you, Luffy. Son. <laughs> oh my God, Kobe. <laughs> you have no hostage. He's introducing himself again. Pistol. Oh, he just shoots it out. Wait, did he just hit him with the axe? Oh. There you go. Look at them already working together. How sweet. Oh, I called him Captain. And Doves flew. I love seeing that guy get laid out. Captain Morgan's son was more annoying than Captain Morgan himself. <laughs> they all wanted to quit anyways. Is he like dethroned? It's not like they killed him. Oh, he's dead. That was short lived. Oh yeah, this was another loose end. Bro, is she just looting them? Oh, inconspicuous safe. Not like she knows the code. It's so, okay, dude. Okay. It's just open. Oh, buggy. Okay, so it was already broken into. Oh, is that the clown from the intro? It had like a clown face thing. First antagonist? Oh, I guess all the townspeople were scared of Morgan too. Well, he does stretch, so. Bro, my man Kobe was ready to die. I got respect. 
One time king of the pirates. <laughs> You're it, bud. This is just the beginning. Maybe Kobe if he decides not to be a part of the Navy. Hey, he's not wrong there. Nice. Let's go. A ship for kings. <laughs> Bo, you saw him. He got shot and it doesn't even matter. And that's what she was looking for a map of. They said the Grand Line is where, like, ships go to die, basically. Two oceans. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, the one piece is in the Grand Line. Mm. Is it kind of like the Bermuda Triangle? Ocean where just ships go missing? Mm. Unless you're Luffy. So the one piece is just a grand treasure. I doubt Kobe will go with them, though. I'm guessing Kobe's just gonna stay at this base. Or stay at this town until he's old enough, at least. That's so cute. Dang. True. <laughs> He's going to do a background check on poor Kobe. <laughs> we have to chase you out of town. Uh, they're doing their job. Kind of have to understand. Hey, true. Is this the new guy in charge? Is anyone in charge? Hey, Luffy don't want no trouble. I like how the Luffy does a little he every time he smiles. Nope, not even remotely, sir. Unless? Unless? And he took him down. Nah, he's gonna describe him as a hero. Get him brownie points. <laughs> oh. oh! Did he want this? You want to push him? Hey. Oh my god, Luffy! He's a child! He's gotta be pulling his punches. He's trying to get Kobe in with them. See that he's made him enemy of pirates. Yeah, he's over-exaggerating it. Luffy the homie, baby. There you go, Kobe. You got your future set up, bud. He's still really young, though, right? I don't know how old Luffy technically is. He's not giving himself enough credit. He's just helping out a homie. Yes, sir! You better let him in! What? Why? I just let him do, like, low-key stuff for a bit. Oh, pirate spies. Oh, no, no, no. How did they even background check, bro? Let's go! Hell yeah, Kobe. I'm so proud of our boy. So this clown pirate is named Buggy? Wait, is she stealing their ship? Oh, I did it! Oh. <laughs> I hope Kobe stays safe. Wow, they're all saluting them. Dang. That's probably a big deal. He said they're pirates. Aw. Feels good, man. You can't cry, Kobe. <laughs> they have to punish themselves. Did that girl stole away on, on their ship or was she on a different one? That's a cool loose end though. Seeing Kobe one day again. It's gonna be like episode like 700, I guarantee it. And the crew begins. He sees the determination in his eyes. They're gonna drive each other. Oh? Oh. Dad? I want more backstory on Luffy. Guessing that's where he got the straw hat from. Maybe it was like his dad's dream and he could never fulfill it. He got too old or something. And they're off. They are off. All right, episode three is done. We have part of our crew formed now, at least two members. We've kind of cleared all that up with the whole uh, Captain Morgan in that fort. I don't really know what they mean. Like they've been freed by him because like he didn't kill them. I guess that maybe they're just like locking him up or something. I don't know. On to episode four. Episode four is called Luffy's Pass Inter Red Haired. <laughs> Buggy Sama. Clown pirate. Oh, I'm guessing that's Luffy and Zoro. Oh, no, it's her. Not in great shape. Oh, this is awkward. Oh, I guarantee you she's pretending. 1,000%. No, she is. 1,000%. It's a bait. Or she's going to yoink their ship. Wait, no shot. And she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> we'll trade. Actually, Skamaz. Not bad. <laughs> Y'all better get ready. She literally just killed all three of them. That's tough, bro. To actually... Wait, they already died. Oh, my God. That was so easy. That was a real... Dang, brother. That was a nice, like, fake chest, too. Luffy's passed. Okay, so we will get some backstory. Maybe he'll tell it to Zoro. 
<laughs> Going with the wind and the waves. <laughs> yeah, he just got it was in a barrel. What? Isn't that what he's known for? Ah. <laughs> Zoro's looking for someone. Not the hat! Can he just stretch and get it? Oh, Shanks. Oh. Is that his dad's name? Fuck, uh, once again, can't he stretch and grab it? <laughs> Aw, Zoro caught it. Oh, he looks a lot like him. Except the hair. Oh, little Luffy! He's so cute! Oh. <laughs> I wonder when he got the, the devil fruit. <laughs> He's so small. <laughs> Ooh, I feel like something went very south. Oh gosh. Is this a marine? Oh, this looks mean. Yeah, like bandits are better than pirates, bro. Oh. At least he's being nice. He looks genuinely concerned. Oh, Shanks is so nice. Dog, really? Oh my god. I honestly thought this is like how Shanks died. And like, that's how Luffy got the hat or something. Because he said not even you can have the hat. So obviously got it some one way or another. <laughs> He's a lover, not a fighter. What the? Wait, is that the fruit? Oh my god! This is when he ate it? Oh my god, why? He just ate it out of frustration? Oh, I bet they like hunted for it and everything. <gasps> oh god. I thought it was some insane, like, adventure he went on and hunted it down and found it and ate it. Lose the ability to swim? Oh, so he was a great swimmer and then the fruit. Oh, that's the negative effects of the, the fruit? Oh, my. Oh, no. This is the mayor? Oh no. Wait, why do I low key lo feel like he takes this dude down because of his new powers? He's gonna stand up for himself. Dang. His bands have a grip on the city, clearly. Money makes the world go round. Oh, he a child. Damn, Luffy! All them apes! He's just watching! It's a brawl, baby! He avoids conflict until it's absolutely necessary, which is now, I'm guessing. I like how it, like, the intercuts already show like five members and what looks like their ship. It has to happen relatively quickly, right? I do like backstory, though. <laughs> Maybe Shanks dies because of all this? Oh gosh. Damn, that's cold. Oh, damn! He's still taking a bite of chicken, bro! Hey, I like his crew. These guys are sick. You mean fight dirty? You got a gun to his head. And you're gonna you're booting the kid's face. Dude, his crew is sick. They have resolve. Tell it to him, baby. Like I said, doesn't fight unless absolutely necessary. Oh god, that dude is that dude's gonna like 1v5. Does he have a, a club or a sword? It sounds like a club. Ah, uh, he looks like nothing now. These guys are sick. What? <laughs> no shot. The kid attacked us. And he's gone. Oh, he took Luffy. <gasps> now he freaks out. Oh my gosh. When he can't swim anymore. 
<laughs> if he hadn't eaten the fruit, he'd be fine. Because they said he's well, a great swimmer. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, my. What? What the hell is that? Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's very dead. <laughs> this giant beast is like, oh, this child. Oh, that was terrifying. Oh, saved. Wait, this is totally how Shanks dies, isn't it? Oh, oh. Damn. <laughs> Just by the look in his eye. And he's gone. I like the contrast of Shanks' character, how he can go like insanely serious. But when Luffy got taken... He's like, oh my god, Luffy! Aww. Oh! Oh my god! No big deal! Oh my god. The day Luffy realizes a consequence for his actions. <laughs> Didn't even realize it. That's, that is intense. Oh. Oh, does he give him... Oh! He gives him the hat. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. It's just to drive him. It's kind of similar to what Luffy did to Kobe, but in a different way. And that's when you give him the hat. Dang. Aww. Wait, so Shanks is still alive? I figured there'd be some tragic death, and that's how he got the hat. That's sick. Two loose ends now. Huh. I like when they set up people to come back in the future. Like, they've already set up Kobe, eventually seeing Luffy again, and now Shanks. Well, now we know how he got the hat. They gotta be close to land. Oh my! Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying! Why did he not do that when the, the hat was in peril? Wait, that bird is huge! Why are all the animals in this show enormous? What is Zoro supposed to do? Throw a sword? Oh my god, they're alive. He's just gonna run over them. <laughs> He's not stopping. He's actually gonna let him in? Oh, nice. Wow, that's actually kind of him. Dog, he just saved you. Oh, you joking. They don't know who they're dealing with. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> he'll just fall i mean can he fall like far distances since he's like rubber buggy the clown yeah like i said probably oh he's eating one so each one gives you a different power though i'm guessing they don't all make you stretchy it's just because the gum gum fruit was a devil fruit but there's other ones that are also devil fruits but they're different did she yoink it from them? Oh my gosh. Boy, she's sneaky. Oh, shoot, there he is. Oh, he sees Luffy. He looks creepy. Oh, God, that poor bird. Oh, the bird's fine. Okay, so he can fall far distances. I'm glad we've limit tested that. <laughs> For fun. <laughs> He's just so simple about everything. She's like, who is this man standing before me? A god? All right, so we got what I asked for, which was once again, a lot of backstory. I always want backstory in terms of like, the, at least the start of shows so we can kind of get a basis of not like, why to care about these characters but an idea of their past and and again loose ends that we can care about kobe coming up again shanks coming up again and a very actually a wholesome like interactions between them shanks kind of i guess laying the groundwork for who luffy is like i said i'm not sure 100 but i think he was supposed to contrast between that like him saying you'll never be a pirate driving luffy or luffy kind of driving kobe to be be a marine fulfill his dream but very very solid episodes guys let me know what you thought of them down in the comments below I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day as per usual, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, peace.